In this example, I'll discuss how to design uh, the chair height. So imagine that we're going to design a non-adjustable chair for uh, working in an office or uh, in for a classroom, for a dull classroom, and um, any kind of office work or desk work, computer work, things like that. Now, if it's just a one um, size, uh, it's going to fit all, then 50 percentile female and 50 percentile male um, average will give us the best, uh, it will fit most people. So the, the it will be designed for 50-50. And if we design for large person, then the sh there are a lot of short, short people will not be able to reach the floor because the chair is too high. Same for if we design for too small person, then the tallest person um, will not fit well in there. Now, the body dimension is called appropriate body dimension. It's called popliteal height. This is the distance between the floor and the popliteal tendon right behind the knee. So it's kind of like floor to the buttock. So that's the appropriate dimension when you're designing. Um, so body dimension, we're going to write uh, my computer. Body dimension is popliteal height. Um, so that's the appropriate uh, body dimension. Um, user population, uh, we can say male, female, both in this case. Now, you always accommodate both population. However, when you design for, let's say, door height L for a large male so that the, large, the largest person can get in, then female will automatically get into that. However, you don't, if I ask the question, you don't write um, male, female, uh, in that case. Let me go back to that example. So you see that here I wrote male. I didn't really like male, female because the idea is if I design it for male then female will also be able to get in that through that door. So in that you just write the male. Now in this case we're going to write male, female both because we are designing for 50-50. Population percentile um, well of course 50-50 and then um, anthropometric table. Now I, I have already extracted these values. Um, a little disclaimer: this data table was actually from the 1988 uh, U.S. Army uh, data. So this is a little bit outdated. However, this is the most re data available in most textbooks. So. But the idea is the process, so you can, if you learn the process, we can always try to find a most updated set of data. If I find one, I'll put it in the openedogether.com. Uh, now, this data set is also available in the openedogether.com, so you can download if you want. Now, the so the user of anthropometric table, I already did that because I'm um, averaging both 50 percentile male and female, I'm just going to average these two numbers. So this is the height in inches. So that many inches for the 50-50 percentile population. Now clothing allowances, uh, male shoes are one inch uh, and then female typically 1.8 that we add. So I'm going to average again the male female. So I'm going to average these two numbers, 1 and 1.8 which is 1.4. I don't know why I'm writing this in a formula, however. Now, then you just add these two together to get the height of the seat, 18 inches. Now, typically, non-adjustable chairs are 18 inches. So, now, if you have a cushion on the chair, and then once someone sit on it, it, it goes down half an inch, uh, then you have to add another half an inch with that. So it's going to be 18 and a half. Because typically, if I ask a question on what is the height of a chair, it has a cushion that's going to compress half an inch. 
then uh, when I ask the what is the height of the chair from the floor, typically it is measured from the floor to the top surface of the chair. So you have to add that uh, foam half an inch if it compressed half an inch. So you have to add that uh, with this as well. Now, so this is how you design a non-adjustable uh, chair. Now I'm going to show you in the next example uh, an adjustable chair.